Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jim, and today I want to talk about camera gear and how us photographers will sometimes obsess about new gear that we don't have. Um, for me, recently I've been super intrigued with the Leica monochrome cameras. I'm primarily a black and white photographer, um, shoot film everywhere from 35 up to 8x10. And it just seemed like a monochrome-only sensor would be a really cool thing for a black-and-white photographer. <laughs> um, and, yeah, so I, I spent way too much time researching it and trying to figure out, you know, if I sold some of my camera gear, could I afford one? I like a monochrome M10 is like nine thousand dollars you know if you want to add on a nice sumacron lens to that you're easily going to bump it up into the over ten thousand dollar range but yeah so anyhow i i just found myself researching it and looking at uh, a couple companies that convert sony um sensors into monochrome and which is much cheaper than buying a like a monochrome but you know I always come back to well why don't I just shoot film <laughs> black and white film and I have a black and white image or shoot in the black and white mode on my Sony shoot JPEG and RAW or just shoot RAW and convert it in Lightroom or Silver Effects and uh, obviously that's the most common sense way of approaching this instead of dumping a bunch of cash on a camera that I don't really need because my Sony's actually an excellent camera and I'm super happy with the results that I get when I convert stuff in either Lightroom or Silver Effects. Part of the appeal to the monochrome only sensor for me was probably more of a psychological thing <laughs> where you're only getting a black and white file and unlike the Sony or any other color sensor camera you can shoot in a black and white mode and either just get a JPEG if you want a raw file you have to have it in raw plus JPEG so you get the black and white JPEG and then you get the full color uh, raw file and sometimes looking at the color file after I've kind of pre-visualized a black and white image, sometimes seeing the color trips me up a bit and I feel like, oh, well, maybe the color's good, you know? And I kind of lose that vision that I had for a black and white photo. Not always, but sometimes it does. So one thing I realized today, finally, after 10 years of using Lightroom, is you can, on import, you can set a preset um, to be applied to all the images that you import. So today I give that a try. I've got a custom preset that I made that's black and white. It's it's got my signature little vignetting on the edges, just a little bit. Um, I added a little bit of a film grain look to it um, to kind of match some of the 35 millimeter uh, photography that I do and it looked fantastic <laughs> and I went out and took some photos I had the the monitor set to um, black and white it was set the camera was set to raw I had the preset turned on for black and white so that I could see it on the LCD or through the viewfinder as black and white. And then when I got back, I imported the files into Lightroom using that black and white preset that I created. And it's fantastic. <laughs> you know, it kind of made me realize, wow, I've wasted a bunch of time daydreaming about getting a really expensive camera that I can't afford anyhow 
instead of just finding the best way to do it with what I have. And I, I think a lot of times that we photographers get stuck in that because we're watching YouTube videos and somebody's, you know, reviewing a new camera and you're like, wow, that's super cool. You know, people who can't afford to do that might feel like they can't make good photos if they don't go out and get that stuff. Um, I'm telling you right now, the camera doesn't make you a better photographer. Getting out and photographing a lot makes you a better photographer. I think it's really too easy to get distracted with, you know, looking on Instagram and seeing what other people are doing, or looking on YouTube and seeing which cameras people are using, or or even which film they're using and all that. Um, and you get distracted and then you don't put the effort into your own work as much as you should be doing. Because um, maybe you feel like you're not as good as some people that you're seeing on social media and stuff. So I think it's really important to get out there with the gear you have and just photograph a lot, you know. If you can get out and photograph a little bit every day, do that. Or even just a couple times a week, get out and take photos. I think it'll definitely improve your practice and improve your photography and the way that you see things that you photograph. I hope this video was helpful. Um, maybe it'll inspire you to get out and photograph more if you've been also sitting around daydreaming about cameras. And I probably will make a separate video showing my workflow for shooting black and white and the importing that I'm doing and applying a preset. Because um, I'm sure some people will find that useful information. So, anyhow, thanks for watching and see you next time.